Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the unsubscribe button here in the header or on the top of some emails uh, on Gmail. A lot of people are wondering if this is safe, what it does and unfortunately it's a little bit hard to find some information. I mean, first of all, of course, you want to know if it's safe to click on that and I can tell you, yeah, it's definitely safe. There is no way that this link here leads to uh, like a virus or something like that, really something bad. No, there isn't. And it's definitely much more safe than using any kind of unsubscribe button here within the mail. Usually you have one at the bottom of an email. You can click on that, but you are never sure what it is because it's just a normal internet link and it can lead to like a virus or any kind of scam or so. You have to be careful. You have to trust the sender of the email when you click on an unsubscribe button within the email, but not here. This thing has no risk and I'm going to explain you why. And of course, I can also show you how it works. You can click on that and then you will see a pop-up. There's even some more information, but unfortunately, there's not much information provided here. You just click on unsubscribe and done. And the second thing which is important when you're using this unsubscribe button, you will be able to resubscribe. This is also a question which a lot of people have. Of course, we have also other options. We can click here on the right top and then block the sender here. But the huge disadvantage is that you might forget and in maybe one or two years you want to resubscribe and you never get these emails. And this is of course because you have blocked the sender and you can't remember. Of course, there's always the possibility to unblock here. Can go to settings, then go to all the settings here. And then you click on filters and block addresses and it will show you, of course, I can't show you that here because there are real email addresses, but here you see all the blocked addresses and you can unblock them from here. But maybe you won't remember and this can cost you a lot of time to resubscribe. So to avoid that, use this button here and what it does actually it is using this list unsubscribe. This is part of the email which you got. I mean, the email has some header information, some things which you don't see, but this is something which the email service provider, in this case Gmail, will turn into this button here, this unsubscribe button. And what's going to happen is that they will receive an email. That's the email information or the email address. Here it's unsubscribe at post.pinterest.com. They will receive an email with the information that you want to unsubscribe. And then, it, of course, it's up to them what they are doing with that. Some senders are handling that, uh, of course, manually. Some senders will have implemented some automatic unsubscribe function. So it can take a couple of days till they will uh, remove you from the email list but that's definitely the most recommended way i cannot guarantee that it works because of course when they get this email and they don't have implemented an automatic unsubscribe function and they are on vacation or they just don't do anything then it won't work but i would first definitely recommend to try this thing that's the best way to go and also enabling the possibility that you can resubscribe at any other point in the future. So I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.